Being successful as a video editor isn't that hard anymore. You just gotta learn the ingredients to making viral videos. Well, my friend, by the end of this tutorial, you will be ready to create viral shorts in Premiere Pro. Let's start with ingredient number one, setting up Premiere correctly. This is incredibly important before we can create these cool effects. So in Premiere Pro, we're gonna create a new sequence. To do that, click the new item button in the project panel and choose sequence. In here, we're we're gonna make sure everything is set up correctly. First, go to the settings tab and in here, set the resolution to 1080 by 1920. That will make it vertical. For social media platforms, Full HD will be perfectly fine. Then for frames, 30 is perfect. But if you're gonna follow along with this tutorial, 60 will look a lot better. Next, save this as a preset and call it short form or something else. That way you'll find it back next time when you're creating a new sequence. All right, ingredient number two, creating a face tracking effect. This one works really well to get a lot of views and I can say that because I've created this effect on a stock video once. Not even on myself and I get more than 900,000 views. This time I'm filming myself jumping around like this. Once you have your clip in the timeline, make sure to enable the guides and the rulers. That way you can click and drag out these guides from the top and from the left. Create a center point right here in the middle. That's where we're going to stick my nose to. Next, head over to the effects library and find the transform effect and drag it on your clip. Now in the effect controls, move the player to the first frame of your clip. Then in the transform effect, scale up the clip and position yourself how you'd like it. Of course, feel free to adjust your guides if needed. Then set a position keyframe, move forward in time and adjust the position so that your nose will always stick to the center point we created earlier. Keep doing that until you're at the end of the clip. Also, don't forget to increase the shutter angle to around 90. This will give you some subtle but cool motion blur. And that that was the difficult time consuming way. There's actually a way that's much easier. Let me show you. In After Effects, make sure your clip is selected. Then go to the window menu on top and open up the tracker panel. Once it's open, click on Stabilize Motion. Now in the layer panel, click and drag your tracking point to my beautiful face. Make sure it's big enough so After Effects has enough tracking data. Then click on the Track Forward button. Now let After Effects do its thing and then click on Apply. And then on OK. Now you have a bunch of keyframes, but don't worry about them, just hide them. You can now increase the scale and reposition your clip and that's all to it. Hey guys, did you know that Adobe really needs to fix these stupid waveforms? It's annoying. I told you, After Effects was a lot easier. Ingredient number three, creating captions that will actually attract an audience. Now, I do not recommend you use the text panel, but you guys already know that. I actually found a tool and it's called AutoCut. It's a plugin for Premiere that can do a lot, as you can see. But today I wanna focus on the AutoCut captions feature. I'm just gonna show you what it can do. In here, you can choose to transcribe the entire timeline or just your selection. I'm going for my into out points. You can confirm your selection in here as well. And you can enable multiple audio tracks if needed. We only have one, so A1 will be enough. Then click on Validate Sections. In this window, select the spoken language in your video. As you can see, this list is endless, so your language will probably be in here. Then click on Open Caption Editor. In here, you can choose a style from one of the built-in presets, for example, a Mr. Beast type caption. But you can also look for a style in the community presets. If you scroll down, you can edit your transcript to fix mistakes. But even with my weird accent, Autica translated everything perfectly, so you probably won't need this. Then of course, you can also reposition and resize your captions if you want. This is really, really powerful and I'm so glad I can do this without leaving Premiere. When you're done, click on apply, then click on add captions. Let Autica do its thing and poof, your captions are generated. Imagine you could do this in Premiere a few years ago. Autica is actually sponsoring this video and I want to thank them so much. You can check them out down below, I believe they have a free trial. So again, link down below. Now it's time for ingredient number four, a clone trick, but a super simple effect. This clone trick is a super simple effect, but it actually blows away so many people on social media. Let me show you how to create this one. First, you gotta film yourself, ideally from a tripod, then walk into frame and do your thing. Now switch to your second character and it's really important to keep the camera rolling. Otherwise, it won't work. After you're done filming, do a weird walk towards the camera. No, just kidding, don't do that. Drag it in Premiere. Now, 
move the player to the moment where you're done acting as the first character. Right there, add a cut. Now move further in time to the moment where you start acting as the second character. For me, this is a few seconds before I get out of the car. Then remove everything in between. Now drag the second clip on top of the first one. Sync it the way you want it. I want to get out of the car the moment the first character stops speaking. So that's where I put my clip. After that, trim away the excessive video and audio. Now we're done syncing, but you can only see the second character. We're gonna fix that with a mask. To do that, go to the effect controls and find opacity. In here, click the pen tool to create a mask. Then in the program monitor, draw a mask around the second character. Try to avoid moving elements like the clouds or the trees as much as you can. Now to blend it in beautifully, increase the feather a bunch and look at that. I love Premiere. I'm not the biggest fan. I kind of hate Adobe. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so ingredient number five, expanding your video editing knowledge. I actually found an AI tool that can generate 3D objects. All you gotta do is describe what you wanna have and then you can download it and import it to After Effects. I made a dedicated video on how to do this with Meshi and After Effects. I mean, imagine how many people you could blow away if you possess that skill. And that's only one click away right here in the video on my left. Thank you guys so much for watching.